Hello, YouTube. <laughs> We're going to do something different today. This is a painting by Edward Hopper, American from New York, called Nighthawks. Uh, supposedly depicting a storefront cafe in Greenwich Village, although historians have tried to find this building, and they say it probably doesn't exist. Now, I want to share with you a new interpretation, something you may not have heard from anybody about this piece. I'm going to talk briefly about the usual stuff that people talk about. Here we have a strong diagonal. See this line, see the counter, see the stools, see the sill, see the base of the building out here in the roof, converging to a vanishing point on the left. As is typical with Hopper, his glass has no specular reflection, no texture, no raindrops on it. It's really not even there. It's like it invites you in, but because he very often uses the corner of a building with glass on both sides, it invites you in and it invites you to see through beyond the building to what's there. Okay, that's enough of the structural stuff. Okay, what do we see inside? What do we really see inside? And this is uh, this is where um, I hope the uniqueness of what I'm presenting is new to you. We see four people, right? Really? Maybe it's not four people. Maybe it's two. Maybe this guy over here is real, and the soda jerk is real. In a painting where you have as few as four people, it is exceedingly unlikely that an artist would make two of them wearing the exact same clothes, dark blue suits and a gray fedora. That's exceedingly unlikely unless he did it deliberately to make a point. And I believe that's what's happening here. I think this lonely gentleman in the corner is real. I think the soda jerk is real. I think the soda jerk's gaze is looking directly at the lonely guy in the corner. The lonely guy in the corner is projecting himself as this guy over here with a hot redhead sitting next to him. This is a fantasy. You know, loneliness is a common theme in hot. Hopper's work against these really stark but crisp sort of architectural backdrops that he's famous for. As I step back to this view, you get that sense of loneliness. If, you're, if these people don't exist, if they're just projections of his mind, you get that sense of loneliness and also that he's sitting in the only lit storefront in all of Greenwich Village. Everyone else has their lights out. So this is a place where the lonely people go because it's open all night. Now let's go back to the redhead. You know, this was begun around the bombing of Pearl Harbor and was finished in early 19, 1942. Um, in those days, you know, we've learned more about redheads since, really. But in those days, a redhead was one hot woman. It was sort of culturally ingrained in us. Gilda, which came out in 1946 with Rita Hayworth. Boy, <laughs> this was a movie that they showed to, say, GIs in Korea, and it really got them yearning for home, or that redhead they left back home. This is quite a movie to this day, Gilda. Now, here's Rita Hayworth as a platinum blonde in The Lady from Shanghai with Orson Welles. And you, you can see, okay, Platinum Bond, Marilyn Monroe, Jane Mansfield, they, they all had it, all the big bombshells. But you can see this guilt, this Rita Hayworth, is nothing like this Rita Hayworth. And yes, of course, I picked one of the dorkiest pictures I could find to make my point. This is my video. That's my prerogative. So here we are. Today we know that redheads are still hot-looking babes, but they'll just stay away from them. They'll, they'll twist your balls right off you. They're just... They're just really, they're like tigers, you know. They make great pets, but they'll turn on you. All right. I don't believe I said that. So here we are. Four people? No. I'm maintaining there are two. This lonely guy, the soda jerk, and this is a projection in fantasy. All right, everybody. Um, there you go. Go out and get yourself a redhead. And, uh, 
and uh, spend some time with some Edward Hopper paintings. Take good care. I love you all. Bye-bye.